What's going on, Hustle Fan? Welcome back here to another pristine vending video. If you've been trying to figure out some ways to come into some extra income, or you're just looking for some extra side hustle ideas, then this video is just for you. By the end of this video, you'll see how much my vending machine business brought in for one month from four vending machines. So y'all stay tuned. This might just be a hustle that you're into, which I actually have a few more than four machines in my business, but today I'm only gonna be able to make it to four of them. So we're gonna focus on three snack machines and one drink machine. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good idea as to whether this is a good hustle for you, or if not, at least you know a little bit more about the vending machine business. So y'all ride along with me as we go through these collections. And we can just take a quick glimpse into the back. See, I got all my totes pre-kitted and I got the snacks and the drinks that I'm loading into the machine all packed up. So the only thing left to do now is get on to our first location. So I'm gonna meet y'all there. Hey, what's going on, Hustle Fam? Come with me, let me show y'all what I got in the mail. What's going on, Hustle Fam? What's going on, Hustle Fam? Welcome back here to Pristine Venom. As always, happy hustles. And here we are at my first location. This location is a community center slash church and I have one snack machine inside of here. So let's go ahead and get everything unpacked and I'll meet y'all in there. Now, before we get in there, I have to introduce you to the vendor's best friend. This is what you call a convertible hand truck. Check out how simple it is to convert this orthodox dolly into a flatbed push cart. So now not only can you carry boxes in the upright position, but you can lay this bad boy down and load it up to the max with your totes, boxes, and crates, and whatever else you need. And just for my hustle family, I want to make it easy as can be for you to get your hands on this back saver. So you can find a link to pick up your very own convertible hand truck at a budget-friendly price down in the description. Remember, don't just grind hard, grind smart. And here we are. This is what you call a five wide vending machine. You can see that there are five snack selections across the top row, thus the term, five wide. One bag of onions. The hot fries are selling all right. Oh. The coils reset themselves every time you open the machine, so that's all that is. And that's only because of the refund system. It continues to spin until something falls. So every time you open it, that's why it resets, if that makes sense. All right, let's get it filled up. And look how much more appealing this vending machine looks now that it's full. That's the beauty of a vending machine. You just let the company's bright labels do all the selling for you. And to keep track on how many items does sell, I make these handmade dividers. All they are, are ripped pieces of cardboard that I use to put in the very last slot in the rows where the amount of product doesn't reach the back. This way, when an item sells, the piece of cardboard will move forward. So when I come back to restock, all I have to do is count the amount of spaces behind my dividers and I will know exactly what's sold. And oftentimes with product change comes price change. So this is currently how I make my new price tags. It's budget friendly and it's universal across all my machines. So now let's get this glass back to its pristine, clean condition. Presentation is everything. And now we can go ahead and collect the cash. And before I leave, I can't forget to wipe down all the buttons, the change return slot, and all the other places that the people touch. All right, y'all, check this out. This is so simple for me to just break down this push cart and stuff it into the back of my truck and be on about my way. You do not want to be out here trying to lift with your back and arms all the time. That is a mission for failure. All right, Hustle Fam, we finally made it back out. Let me turn my AC off. It is hot out here. So this location took much longer than it was supposed to. It took me about an hour to finish in and out. And that's because the, they had let the daycare loose where my snack machines are. It's in a play area for the kids where the daycare is. So they let the daycare loose. So I had to work around those at the same time I was doing my refill. And it's probably been a month since I totally refilled this machine. So I had to fill up just about every item in this machine. So that took some time. But we do have the cash from this one machine for one month, for the month of May. So let's take a look at what it brought in. Not too bad. Nice little stack. And just a little bit of change, not much change at all. And this location here usually bless me with some gold dollars. Now, unfortunately, I haven't seen them in the last few collections. But well, hopefully they'll be back around soon. So that wraps up here at this location. So let's make it to our second location, which is also a community center slash church slash daycare and a bunch of other things. So y'all stay put and I'll meet y'all there. 
And 10 minutes later, we finally made it to our second location. So I came to a realization on the way here, and that is that I'm not gonna be able to make it to my third location today because I'm running short on time. That last location took much longer than I expected, and I've just been having a bunch of hiccups today anyway. So ironically, all three locations that was on today's lineup all closed at the same time, and that time is at 5 p.m., and it is currently 4.30 on the dot. Check this out. Well, it just turned 4.31. So as you can see, today's locations all closed in just 30 minutes. So I'm running here real quick before I get kicked out and try to get this machine filled up. Y'all follow along. This has always been one of my favorite vending machine locations. They have a little room here that's specifically set up for their vending machines. They even have a sign at the door that says vending. That's how you know they take their vending options serious. Gotta love it. And as always, this machine looks like a skeleton. They wipe it out weekly. And as you can see in the back of every row where the amount of product doesn't reach all the way to the back, I have my makeshift cardboard dividers tucked away in the very last slot. So that way when I come back to restock, I can just count up all the amount of items that sold. Now on to the cash collection. The change bucket doesn't feel too bad. I'm not sure how this got in there though. And to get to the bills, we just gonna take off the whole money magazine. Before putting this money mag back where it goes, you always want to check the money chute to make sure that it's clear and check this out. That's what you call a bill jam. So we got to clear that out. And it's a good thing we came when we did because bill jams are terrible for business. And now we can put the money mag back. Wait a minute. That flashing light is supposed to be solid. So that means something's wrong with this bill acceptor. Let's check it out. Oh man, it's another bill jam and this one is worse than a previous bill jam. So I'm gonna be honest with you, right now, I don't know how to clear this bill jam because taking a money mag out, I still can't reach to where this bill is. But if y'all stick with me to my next video, I'm gonna show you the power of YouTube because I'm gonna go home and check up on my fellow YouTube vendors and see what I can do about this bill jam in my next video. So in the meantime, here's some snacks I left out in the vending machine and y'all already know, I leave them out for that special person. All right, we made it back to the car. So let's go over what we collected from this one machine at this location. Here's the cash. Nice stack. And this bill acceptor doesn't accept anything but one. So all this is straight ones. I know some star notes in there somewhere, but we'll go over them later. <laughs> and the change. Check out all that change. So that wraps up our route for the day. We finished up just in the nick of time. I think we went a little over actually. Y'all check this out. We're actually about 30 minutes past time, but they were nice. They didn't kick us out or anything. It was plenty of people still coming to pick up their kids and hanging out in the gym in there and everything. So I don't know what they got going on, but the door said it closed at five, but I know for a fact my third location is closed because I called ahead. So like I said, we just finished up in the nick of time. We didn't make it to our third location today, but that's all right, because I'm gonna make it there tomorrow and y'all stay tuned for that video. So I gotta get back to the house, go over these numbers, and I'll be right back with it. Y'all don't go anywhere. Several days later. So we made it back to the house. I got everything situated and I got all the numbers tallied up on my pad. So before I read these numbers out to you, I just wanna give you a quick reminder that we didn't make it to my third location today. So y'all stay on the lookout for that video. It will be dropping within the next few days. So with that being said, let's get into these tallies. So the first location we went to, that was a church slash community center and that had one snack machine there. And that one machine brought in for the one month, $1.85 and change, $60 in bills for a total of $61.85, not too bad. And then the second location we went to is also a church slash community center. And again, with one vending machine there, which is a snack machine. And that machine brought in for the one month, $35.45 and change, $148 in bills, for a total of $183.45. And 
And that was that stack I pulled out and I told y'all I bet I'll find some star notes in it. Hey, check out what I found. I found three of them. So I'll take that. And then this is what you would call a funny serial number. Sometimes they'll be worth a little something to collectors just because of how many zeros is in it. But I don't know about this one in particular, but I'm gonna hold on to it anyway, just in case. But check that out. Like I said, you always wanna check for your star notes. I appreciate y'all rocking out with me again, Hustle Fam, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. As always, happy hustles. Oh. NC, really from the bottom of the map. I don't wanna hurt no doubt. Right there might get you whack. One false move might get you whack. Put a hole straight through your cap. Get no cap. I am that A, like the alphabet. Just know I get aggressive. Don't like drama, don't like stressing. Don't like liars, don't like teachers. Neither cause they used to test me. But however, I'm still living through the shit. It's a blessing. Stay prayed up and keep my weapons. Stay prayed up and keep my weapons. Yeah.